What's up guys, it's your boy Root and we are back for another Trails of Coastal video. So now, last time we finally made our way to Nord, the Nord Highlands. We were on our horses. On the way here we met a certain young lady, a pair of certain young ladies. Who will play a major role in the future. We met Elisa's oh, yeah. mother. Actually, I don't know where I'm running. Oh yeah, let's look for a chest. Let's look for a freaking chest, bro. Let me get someone detection. Wait. Oh. So is there no chest then? I guess there's no chest. Alright then. So we met Alisa's mother, a certain chairman of a company. Let's <laughs> look at this place for a second. Man, oh, this is the or this was this original song. Like this is the original song for uh, Nord. Super good, super calming. So I was just about to say we met Elisa's mother, the chairman of the Reinford Company. Another person that sits on the board of directors of Thor's, along with Rufus's older brother Rufus. Okay, found that out. Met her. Finally made it to the Zender Gate, and we saw One-Eyed Zex. A member of the Vander family who is in charge of protecting the Imperial family, so you know he's nasty. Plus, he's got the eye patch. How can he not? You feel me? And now we're making our way to Gaius' home, the settlement. And uh, we're just pausing to uh, to um, take in the sceneries because this is all of their first times here. Well, obviously, besides Gaius, but all of the others only been here. This is the very first. They've never been here, so this is the first time they're seeing it. So they're like amazed, which is why not? Like, look at this place. If this was like. If this was current gen, like 2021 animation quality, like this place would be absolutely gorgeous. Because even now, it doesn't look that bad. And Calvert, Calvert Republic. So guys just mentioned Calvert Republic being the other country that's on the opposite side. Right, so we have Calvert on one side, Nord, and then the Empire. So that little building right there is the Imperial Watchtower, if you don't know. It's essentially like where we have our imp Imperial troops like watching Calvert to make sure they don't go into like the safe zone Because if they do that essentially means war Right Hint 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 So I don't think I can find any monsters because there was no chest that appeared on the map nor any monster marks So I guess we just gotta go straight to Nord Get me out of there we get it, we know how to read a map. Oh, now that you point them out, I'm surprised I didn't notice them before. At least they're saying that. The main one being that gigantic statue, this is nothing. So, you're not about to convince me that Emma does not have like a hidden si insight into these ancient ruins, all of these like um, relics, stuff like that, like those uh, monuments that we saw at a uh, Lunaria Nature Park. But you're not about to tell me she doesn't know anything about those things, right? That dot dot dot. Perhaps not. It wasn't voice acted, but she was sounding nervous there. Go. I think that's probably why we can't battle monsters, which is unfortunate. Yeah, no chests, no monster marks. Definitely means we can't do any grinding. Dang it, man. I really wanted to get some grinding in. All right, we finally made it to the nom nomadic settlement. Nomadic settlement. I don't know why I keep stuttering with that. Ooh, that red, though. Looks super nice on my screen. I'm not sure this is gonna like get posted in 4k or um, Get posted with 4k get posted with the uh, HDR qualities like the whole Dynamic range of colors whatever that whole concept behind it is, but it's pretty dope because considering this is a 2000 like what? 10 either I think 2010 or 2012 release like for it to look this much better at least I think it does This is totally possible. I'm capping my ass off right here. I could be but it looks better to me. I don't know
they constantly move. Yeah, based off like the seasons and like threats, they constantly moving areas. So this is not their actual like place they stay. Although I feel like they've been here for years. Like I don't think they move here for years. Cause what, we come back here in the future. Like literally the same spot. Although they kind of did move. I'm, I'm, I was dumb. I, I forgot they did move. They just didn't like leave Nord. And as y'all can see, hopefully I'm not covering it up here. But as you can see, even with his old graphics, why Gaius' his father has four kids. Makes perfect sense to me. And there it is, Gaius' his mother. Even Alisa shook. This guy, guys, is father Loki. He's kind of nasty. It might just be plot armor, but I feel like he's he, he's kind of nasty with the spear. This is why I wanted to get some grinding in because we're about to have a meal, so it would make sense for, for us having a meal that we get a a free heal. But I couldn't take advantage of that. Cause it wouldn't freaking let me, man. It wouldn't freaking let me. So I was looking at my quartz, and I'm so stupid for not keeping the new game plus items. Cause what I did, so I don't know if it changes. Because I feel like in Cold Steel, maybe not two, but Trails of Cold Steel three and four, when you're doing a new game plus, you can either discard your items, but your quartz are separate to your item list. I feel like I'm not sure, but because I didn't want to accept all those items, like all the healing items. The recipe items that I already had made from the previous playthroughs. I didn't click on that and now I have no quartz. So going into this and going into like the chapter 4. But mainly it's when we face against off like the bigger bosses towards the end of the game. I'm extremely worried. Because our quartz are le not looking so good. They are not. Especially our equips. Let's not forget our armor. Like armor cuts so much Mira and I have zero Mira. I'm broke. Now we're having a pleasant dinner in the nomadic sediment with this beautiful, very calming music. And then tomorrow is just going to be death. So kind of going into the history of the land. Because they do have a, like a history with the uh, Erebonia, the empire. I don't know if that was honestly a good thing for these people becoming friends with us essentially dragging them into the empire's uh, affairs so calvert up to no good huh republican cal so the Empire and Republic are old foes for a very long time. I wonder if they're going to get into that in the future games. Kind of like how, so basically in Hajimari, I'm not going to too, say too many spoilers just in case. So one of you guys is watching this and haven't played. But essentially, it's like a collective story. Right, because it's not Trails of Cold Steel, so it's not specific to Erebonia, it's more of a collective story. So I wonder if in the future they're going to have a game that includes uh, a storyline that's specific to the interactions between Calvert and Erebonia. That would be very interesting. I would really like to see something like that. Alright, it is time to officially start this month's field study. I believe this is just a simple delivery. Yeah, this is a simple, simple delivery. I don't think anything major happens here, so I'll do this off screen. I need ingredients. Okay. And we have a master quest. Fantastic. Man, freaking tastic, bro. I think if I'm not mistaken, there's also a hidden quest. So I'm definitely going to check that out and try to get that done as well. Most likely off screen because I don't think the hidden quest is anything interesting. Like, it's worth watching. Okay. I'm gonna go straight to the shop. Going straight to the shop. There's no way I'm about to head onto the field without upgrading. 
Okay, Gaius finally got his S craft. It's about time. So everyone has their S craft besides the girls. Which is kind of okay, because Alisa's kind of used to this S craft. Doesn't really do anything. Emma's, I also doesn't think I do anything in this in this game, because it does damage, but I don't think her damage is anything worthwhile. Okay, so I do have a healing option here. So if I end up using, so if I end up using the nomadic heal, because I believe I can use the beds. That's my heal for this area. Yeah, because I got this area, and then I got the Nord Highlands North, and then the Nord Highlands South. So if I use the free, if I use the heal over here in the settlement, I can't use it at all until the 28th. So that's something to keep in mind, because I believe this is a two-day parter. Like we'll have missions in the morning and missions in the evening. But let's head to the shop. This is where we can get our weapons. Time to upgrade. Time to give me that upgrade. You know, Beyonce style. Her sister. Maybe or maybe not someone we've already just met in the previous video. Okay, let's see these upgrades. Let's get it. So this is a side quest. All off screen. So I'm gonna skip through this. All I gotta do is like deliver some milk or some sort of food to the um, Imperial Watchtower. Like literally only doing it for the, for the uh, money. If it, no, actually no money because there's no money in this game. We don't get money for quests. For the uh, rewards, the equips and the quartz. That's what we need the most right now. Now let's see these weapons. Let's see these weapons. I really don't like that it drops speed. 40 attack stat though, I kind of like that. It only drops speed by 3. It drops my agility by 5. Ooh. I'm gonna see what it- Oh, I can't check his freaking um... What it looks like when you upgrade it. Let me see his- what he has right now. So this- My Rogoto Has a speed plus 3, evasion plus 5. Speed plus three. I believe if I used my uh, if I customize this weapon, I should be able to get agility out of this. Three thousand Mira. I only have seven forty. Feels good, man. How many sepet do I have? I have a thousand nine hundred. Yo, give me all of those. Give me all of that. Give me all that money. Give me all that money. Let's get it. Give me that. Boom. Alisa is not known for her damage. And since this weapon is an upgrade to her SDR, but it lowers ATS, I am not going to waste my money. Now, does this upgrade... So, this staff upgrades Emma's STR base attack, but I don't know if that's any useful. I don't know if that's useful at all. Because why would it, like, I want her ATS to go up, her magic based attack stat. Why would I? I don't understand. Plus, only has 7,000 money, so I got to be mindful of that. I will give this attack buff to Eustace though. Are you kidding me? Look at this difference. Over a hundred. Give me those. And then I'll give it to... Guys. I won't give it to guys. Now this is what I need. Give me that. Give me the Earth Vest for both of guys, and oh, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Are you kidding me? I have to do this, otherwise it's gonna. Be, I'm just gonna keep dying again. So, take some more of my Sepith, of course. Why is everything so expensive? Give that to Usus. I didn't give that to Reen because I want his defense to be a little bit higher. Oh, it's only a five difference. In the 40 ADF. Ooh, but I already bought the other one, so it's too late for now. This is only for women. Oh, give me that to give me that to Elisa and I have no money again. Are you serious? I have no money again. Are you kidding me? How many separate do I have? 700? I'm gonna give 100 and this is not enough. I'm just gonna move on. Just give me one. Yep, I'm done. That's it. Those are my upgrades. Now, real quick, or or quartz, I did do a little bit of changing. For Alisa, I did, decided to give her the EP cut, and I took out the Septian Dragon Bane, 
which increases EP on the field, and I gave it to Emma. Because I'm going to be relying on Emma's damage, her magic damage. So I gave her that EP recovery, and then I gave her Heat Wave, which will buffer her defense and give her... Yeah, buffer her defense. That's pretty much it. SDR doesn't really matter. Right, giving us that 5 strength to Emma, I, I feel like doesn't matter at least. And then I was going to give her a Mine 2, but uh, I'd rather keep Silver Thorn. So that's, those are changes. Gaius, I just gave some random stuff just to fill him up a little bit. So these are just kind of just to give him some speed. Right, just to get him to move quicker. Useless didn't really change. So yeah, that's the squad. Not looking the greatest, honestly. I am going to keep Elisa there and Emma. And I'm probably going to put Usus. Or should I put Gaius for the seal? Not put Usus in here. This is a squad. This is, what, this is what I'm going to go with with my running four. And I'll keep Gaius in the back. As far as my formation. Taking something like this. For sure I'm doing that. I'm really close to getting here to level three. And I believe Elisa gets cheer at level three instead of level, not level four. So hopefully she gets it at level three. Because that will give us... Um, random RNG heals and CP heals, so that's very clutch when it does when it does um, occur. When it does occur, it's super clutch. Uses can be tagged with Emma. I'm gonna put Emma into the back there when offset her. No, I'll just keep her here for now. If I feel like changing her, I'll change her later on. And I put Gaius in the middle, front line, like a little vanguard, if you will. Let's go. Let's get it started. All right, we are at this area. I really like this uh, landmark, if you want to call it that. Even though this is not yeast. It is pretty big. We'll get a we'll get a better picture of it in the next game of like how actually the scaling of how big that those pillars are. I can't help but wonder how they could possibly build something like this without use of modern technology. Because they don't use technology like how they, they do in uh, Erebonia, right? Because they're, they're nomadic, they're nomadic people, they're like a tribe, tribal village. Anyways, let's get this flower and let's get a move on. Another chest. Soft stole, what is that? Soft stole gives 10% to... Both defensive ADF and regular defense and prevents petrify. Not the worst thing in the world for sure. So I'm actually Originally I wasn't planning on using it towards endgame, but because the difficulty is starting to pick up, these three these four equips right here, I'm actually gonna start just going ahead and equipping these. Honestly. They're not that game breaking. Actually they might be just because I gotta, rem I gotta keep in mind that this is the very first game, so the stats is gonna be a lot more impactful than, like, getting those equips in, like, Trails of Coastal 3, for example. So we're going to the wash shower just to deliver some uh, food. Nothing too biggie. Probably gonna be off-screen stuff. Although this is the first time we are coming to the wash shower, so I might just leave this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna probably leave this in there because this is the first time they're seeing this. Besides guys. So it was built around three years ago. Interesting. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're talking to some soldier named Zats. Doing the side the little hit uh, side quest. But I figured, why not? We're about to look at the Republic's army base, so why not keep us in here? I did do some battling uh, off-screen. I didn't. I'm not, probably not going to include them just because nothing really happened. Like it was fairly like straightforward. I just bodied everything. It's like a staring match between two stubborn children. <laughs> Talking about like the, that because that's the army base, and then you got that watchtower on this side and Zender Gate. So Empire and Calvert, you know. And then Gaius' homeland is just stuck in the middle. This guy just had to said that. 
the chances of a war starting here is near zero. Why did he have to say that? Why did he have to jinx it? Jinx it? Was that necessary? Was that necessary at all? I don't think so, buddy. Okay, we got the quartz, rare quartz scent for the picking up all those flowers for the medic. And I believe all that does is attract enemies' attention. And I don't have anyone with major evasiveness stats. Like, I don't have an evasion build in this game yet. So, uh, I'm definitely not using that. For sure. Absolutely not. Attract me to them? Why, why the heck would I do I want the damage dispersed. Are you serious? Let me just double check to make sure I'm right. Because scent, you know, sounds like that's something that would be. Yeah, scent is, makes enemies more likely to notice you. However, it does give aerial, grand press, and dark matter. Oh. Honestly, I might give this to Emma. Because I have Emma in the back anyway, so it might be... I might try that with Emma. Let me see. I'm actually not going to use it. Demonic side. I'd rather have the, I'd rather have the Reaper because it gives her ATS stats. So for now, I'm just going to hold on to the scent. Okay, let's head right back. Hey, <laughs> An old Reinfer truck model. It was donated a few years ago. I wonder who did that. Maybe some useless man, according to Irina. Gaius is lacking behind in levels because I've just got him back from. The, uh, because in the previous field study, we had both. We're going the wrong way. So in the previous field study, we had both. Uh, we didn't have Gaius, we had Emma, and we had Yusus. So levels-wise, they look okay. Alisa's fine levels-wise, because I always use it, right? I took it to the old schoolhouse. I literally, every time I get her, I'm just going to include her in the party. One, because she's my girl, and two, because, because I keep saying that I have to use her. I can't not say that and not use her. That would be like... That would be so fake. Oh, we got another one of these. I'm feeling daring. I'm feeling quite daring. Maybe it might be might turn out to be a mistake, but hey, let's let's find out. Okay, not too bad, not too bad so far. Although, Gaius is kind of leaking. So I'm going to switch. Might not be a good idea to farm CP at this point, but uh, I'm going to do it anyways. And Alisa has no EP. I had to. I had to. Nice. Oh, that scared me. I thought he hit me for a second, but I was like, how? He was confused. Oh my god, my, my heart almost stopped. Melees. He dodged. He freaking dodged. No counter. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Are you joking? Fifty percent. Fifty percent should be enough. 
Or not. Or not. Not even close to being enough. Try one more time. Literally try one more time. Bless Daryl. Why is this Rhino doing so much freaking damage? What is actually happening right now? Alisa and Emma are basically doing no damage at all. Why I'm keeping them, you may ask? I don't know. I honestly don't. Nice. That honestly doesn't matter. The confuse doesn't matter here. I don't need to. If Rain missed, he would have been dead. If Rain missed, he would have been so dead. I should have just did that a long time ago. I literally got the KO from the spell. Are you serious? <laughs> Present shell. It's a new crap. I'm not that much of a fan of it, but at least it's something new. And flame tongue. That I'm a fan of. I believe that's a medium area. Yep, it's a medium area. And it gives more defense. So I'm gonna give that to Emma. And then I'm gonna give Alisa the rare quartz heat wave and then upgrade her from the normal quartz. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's continue. At least, at least. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roam around a little bit, get Emma's EP, and then once it comes back up, I'm gonna give the quartz to uh, Alisa. Time to meet up with One Eyed Zex. Take on this monster quest, which hopefully doesn't turn into a problem. Too much of a problem. I believe it's this way. If I remember correctly. Yep, there's his office. Let's talk to him. See what he wants. Horses are super handy. Can you imagine traveling through across those plains on a on barefoot, on foot rather than a horse? Literally would have taken me forever to do those side quests because I had to go. That side quest had me run all the way to the Imperial Watchtower, which you guys saw me there, but I, I didn't put up the stop in between. But I had to go all the way there and then all the way back to Nord, the, I mean the Normatic Settlement. The fact that guy saved his life at that age is so ridiculous. Although, let's be honest, a pack of wolf beasts, like Zex could have easily manhandled them. Easily. With zero eyes. Typical guys. Probably has that, like, the ancient, the Nords that helped, uh, the Nords that helped, uh, what's his name? Emperor Dracos during the war. He probably has some of that blood in him. Inherited some of that spirit. Zex handing out all the compliments today. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Okay. Quest monster, time to exterminate. 
without any complications nice and smooth first try you know what i'm saying no tilting no stress it's just nice and smooth nice and easy Better give us a nice reward though. All right, let's do this. So I'm actually going. I'm gonna farm up guys to CP real quick to a decent level. Maybe not 200, but at least 100, 120, and then we'll take on that quest monster. I'm actually gonna give Emma scent to give her extra spells to use. She has mine too, giving us extra 20 uh, AST. She's got a bunch of spells. Honestly, I am highly thinking about giving her Ares. Because the damage arts give HP for her. That's kind of nice. So I'm actually gonna do that. See how that works. I've never used this before in any of my previous playthroughs. So why not? I would like to get uh, some levels for Mirage, but there's only there's not gonna be like that many enemies, so I don't really think like, that's worth. And she gets 45 to AST from the Master Quartz, and here I get 45 as well. ADF 25, ADF 10. So I'm getting more ADF from this because it's level three. It's level three, not level two. And I'm getting more speed, so not too bad. I'm gonna stick with that, I think. Take out Elisa's Dragon Bane because Dragon Bane has no purpose in battles. And I am actually going to give her. I will give her. Do I give her Breath for an AoE heal? But I already have Blessed Arrow. I'll give her defense. Even though she has a revival, it might be useful. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Alright, let's do this. Time to take on this monster. Let's go. Let's go. Easy money. Ain't nothing but a thing, y'all. Fully prepared. Changed my course. Y'all saw that. Got new equips, got new good not got new armor, got updated armor, got updated weapons. Let's go, let's get this. Let's body this thing. And we start with the quiz. <laughs> Definitely. Nice. So that should take out all of those those four small fish fry. You should be able to make fish fry out of them. Easily. Easily. Without question. Without question. Come on. Burn them up. I want I want some fish sticks with tartar sauce. Fish sticks with tartar sauce. Give it to me. And he went to 50 CP because of his master ports. Very good. Then for Gaius, let's see if we can get a seal up. I want that uh, link rush with rain. That's why I skipped out on it. And then this is a spell. Let's go for dark matter. Why not? Then I'm gonna actually go for Molten Rain to get all of them. And now I'll go for a uh, Lick Rush. Is that lack damage, but I mainly did it for this. Get all of them. Nice. Or only two. Only two, that's fine. Oh, are you serious? It muted Emma? Are you kidding me? So mute, if you don't know what mute is, because it's the first time I think I've actually pointed it out. And if the first time you're watching, mute allows makes it so you can't use arts. Seal takes away crafts, mute takes away arts. So now that Emma's muted, automatically going to use this. I'm not even going to like play around. Not even going to play around. Yo, what's up with all these dodges? Not that I'm complaining, I just can't believe it. While I was doing my off-screen leveling and like off-screen battles, I was getting dodges all over the place. 
Not. We ain't getting unit does not matter at all. That matters. That matters a lot, actually. Can't be delayed. Definitely going for a molten arrow. Molten arrow, blessed arrow. HBCC. Alisa is sealed? Are you kidding me? Switch back to Emma. Serene blessing. Alisa? And then Emma can use Victoria next turn. Unless he does Chrono Drive. Lean Green literally can't do anything, but I'm going to move right there. Which will move the Chrono Drive. Yeah. Lisa, why don't you set up? Maybe that attack is magical based. I'm not sure, so why not set up this? Why not? What the heck? Literally, this would be a great time to use an item, don't y'all think? I feel like this OST gets, this battle OST gets played so often. Okay, I was about to say this battle OST gets played so often, but Emma took a massive amount of damage, and she got muted again. Again, and Gaius is still muted. He has no heals either. I doubt it can be KO'd. But, uh... Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Didn't think so. Resist, obviously. I take a chance? Is 2,000 health and, without, and 1,600 health for Reen enough? I don't know. But I have to heal Emma. I have to heal Emma. Thank you. dodge! I'm gonna go for another speed buff. Now can Emma? Emma still can't use anything. Are you serious? Is Rain dead here? I think Rain's dead here. I think that was a mistake. Because I think Rain is dead here, I'm actually going to use Kira and heal Gaius. I think Rain's dead here. Oh, he's not. No. Move Emma towards Rain. Try to get that seal off. Rain, if you miss, if you miss, thank goodness, thank goodness. Dude, Emma's gonna stay muted, isn't she? Oh, nope, she's not perfect. Perfect. Water is obviously not going to work on a fish. So I'm actually going to go aerial. Motivate. Will that get Gaius? Nah, I got Emma. 
Oh, that guy Gaius. Gaius doesn't need to be close. Zero damage? Are you kidding me? Bless Arrow. Okay. Motivate. Then it's S class time. Boom. This should do some decent damage. I'm expecting at least to take away at half its health. Half its current health to get incinerated right here. Absolutely. I won't get convinced otherwise. Come on. He's done. With the burn damage, he's done. Doesn't matter here. I believe I'll get a free heal once I go to the, 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 nomadic, the nomadic settlement. Use whatever. Use everything. Use everything. And it's finished. He's it's fish for the GG's. Yo, 5,000 for Gaius? Look at those levels. Give me those levels. I like that. I like that. Yes, it's Kanda. Mada, Mada, Korekarda. Easy. That wasn't too bad at all. I had a couple of close, close calls. like lowering uh, enemy speed isn't that big a deal but lower getting our speed lowered is a huge deal obviously he doesn't want to deploy troops because it would be like a huge commotion so that's why he waited for us to come pretty smart if you ask me pretty smart if you ask me he's now one-eyed zex for no reason Back when guys first met him, he really changed his perspective on Erebonian military. But he's like the high end, like he's more of the classy ones. Alright, time to head back to Nord, the nomadic settlement. Time to head back to the settlements. Alright, so I think this is a good place to end the video. I've been recording for a good amount of while here. So I took care of all the quests, side quests, and the two main quests. I'm gonna keep the side quests off screen, probably that one, and as well as the uh, food delivery to the Imperial Watchtower, besides that one little scene where we actually got there. Just because most of that was just roaming around irrelevancy. We took care of the quest master. Had a few close calls, right? We had a few close calls, but nothing too bad. Got through it, easy money, put in the work, got some levels. Got some uh, updated quartz and equipment, so that's going to be a big deal going forward. So, so far, we're not looking too bad in Nord. Things are going off to a nice, solid start here. So, in the next one, we'll get started with the, the other half of the first day here. And then uh, we'll see what else happens. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.